Hi, I'm Laurie from TimeToPlayMag.com, and this is Farkle Flip from Patch Products. And it is a new version of the original Farkle game, which used dice, but this game does not use dice because it is a card game. The object of the game is the same, though. You want to be the first player to get to 10,000 points, and you score points by making different card combinations. And there is a little cheat sheet that comes with it. It actually comes with two of these cheat sheets, so it helps you to remember what kind of combinations you're looking for and what the points are. So you can basically get but three of a kind, four of any number, six of any number, or one through six straight, lots of different combinations than you can make. So each player gets one card placed face up in front of them. And I'm the first player, so I will draw a card first. And I have a number card. This is a four. So I can either place this in front of me or in front of any other player because I'm trying to see where is the best possibility for me to score some points. So I'll just place it right here in front of this guy. Maybe I'll go for three fours. So I'm going to keep drawing a card. I can draw as many cards as I want. And I'll tell you why that might not be such a good idea in just a second. Here I have another four, so I'm going to place this down. And now I have three fours. That's going to get me some points. But I have a choice to make. I can move these three fours into the center of the playing space to score or I can leave them there and continue drawing cards to try to build on this and score some more points. So let's see what happens if I pick up another card. Ugh, I got a Farkle card. Now that means that my turn is now over and I don't get to score any of the points that I didn't move to the center of the playing space. Now in the long run, the Farkle card isn't going to hurt you because it does help you score extra points the next time you have a scoring combination, but it does end your turn and now it's the next player's turn. This is really going to appeal to fans of the original dice game. A little bit of new rules in gameplay, but it's still a lot of fun and it's for ages 8 and up. And if you want to see more great games for your family game night, then come visit our website at timetoplaymag.com.